Scorpio Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys! In today's video, we're going to take a quick break from all of the Halloween madness that's been happening over here, and we're going to do a Scorpio design, which is the next in my series for the Zodiac signs. And so this one, just like the other ones, has a galaxy-style background. And quickly, I want to mention this, is that if you guys aren't a Scorpio and you're looking for your other designs, there will be all of them will be uploaded eventually. Otherwise, check the description box below. If yours has already been uploaded, there will be a link to it there. The other thing I wanted to mention quick is that at the end of the year, so after all of them have been uploaded, there's two left after this one. So after those next two videos have been uploaded and they've all been completed, I have a really big surprise for you guys. So if you are into the zodiac signs and astrology and all of that, I know that you'll want you'll want to see this. So yeah, don't forget to do that and keep checking and it'll be right before the new year. So yay, that's exciting too. I can't wait for it. Um, so please, please check back for that and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So to begin with, I'm going to create that galaxy style background like I mentioned with a combination of a glittery dark blue, a very sparkly teal, black and white acrylic. So I started out and this is very wet acrylic that, um, so when you're doing this, I usually kind of monitor and depending on how deep I put my brush into the monomer depends on how much, uh, how much powder I grab with my brush. Do about a third less powder to get the right kind of consistency. And this is something you may have to play around with to get it right for you. And this is the same kind of consistency I use whenever I'm doing a gradient. So just kind of do that. And same thing with the white, very wet acrylic. So it kind of just has that foggy little cloud appearance. After you have that done, go ahead and encase the nail with, acry uh, with clear acrylic, which is super important with anything that's like this because that really wet acrylic is going to be very weak. So in terms of actually wearing this, uh, typing, doing your hair, brushing your teeth, whatever kind of daily activities you end up doing every day. If you don't have that layer of clear acrylic on there, chances are you may end up with a broken nail. Maybe not, you know, it depends, um, but it would just be a higher risk. So definitely encase that to make sure it is nice and strong. Now I'm going to be filing this nail into shape with my e-file and I'm going to just kind of go over the whole thing with a coarser bit to remove any bulk. Make sure that you don't file all the way through your clear acrylic, especially over your glitters because they may turn a little bit scratchy and silvery gray kind of gross looking. Uh, you want to make sure that you protect them with that layer of clear and then go over the whole thing with a much finer bit that's going to smooth out the entire nail and make it so that they are nice and nice and easy to paint which is always a good thing, especially since this nail is all hand painting. So I'm going to take, and I'm gonna start in the center of the nail with my little scorpion symbol. So I'm just going to kind of continue or start with those little ribbing that goes all the way um, from basically the head all the way down the back and right into that little spine on the end of the tail. So just little lines, kind of like, I don't know, just little stacked lines going all across. Then you're gonna to wanna to add the claws of your scorpion and then continue those with the little dashed lines going up. And you can do this with any kind of style of scorpion that you like. I just did different, I looked at all, I looked at so many pictures when I was picking out these uh, different zodiac sign symbols that I was going to do. And I looked at, I looked at a lot. So it is definitely uh, something to, you know, choose your own style with. So then add the rest of the legs of your scorpion. And then above that, I'm going to be painting my constellation. So I'm going to just add the little dots for the stars and then play connect the dots. And the great thing is when you're doing your galaxy style background, uh, I did all, I tried to make them each unique when I was doing all of my zodiac signs. Uh, the one thing to keep in mind is that the lighter areas aren't going to show up this, aren't going to show off the symbols as well that are on top of them. So if you are doing it where you do a whole set that is the, that's your zodiac sign and you split it up so that you have different nails in different parts, do the white painting on the darker area of the nail. So like my scorpion, he's on a brighter area of the nail, which makes it so you don't see him quite as well, but that constellation shows up so well. So if you're doing these across more than one nail, definitely kind of place where you're painting according to where it'll show up the best on the nail. Then beneath that, you're going to want to paint your little Scorpio symbol. Kind of looks like an M with some extra stylized on, extra stylizing on it. Then apply a layer of gel sealer over the top of the whole thing. Throw that into your lamp to cure and you're all done. Like I said before, if this is not your sign and you'd like to see the video for your sign, there will be a link to it in the description box below. If it is previously in the year, it'll be there now. Otherwise, it'll be there once I have uploaded it. So please check for that and don't forget to share recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. I'd love to see them and I will see you in my next video. Bye!